Hello, this is Pete, your Kickserve support guy. I'd like to discuss and demonstrate the uh, features of tagging, custom fields, services, names, and sources. So first start off with services, the list of services we do. It's a generally overlooked uh, reporting feature, really, and scheduling feature. So here, when I'm on my opportunities page, I can scan the list of new opportunities I have, and I can make a quick judgment, quicker judgment, of maybe when I want to schedule this, or how I want to schedule, or how I want to assign it. Is this a level one type job, or is it a more advanced job? So that's something to think about services. Now, when we get to the customer record, so in this case, this is uh, James Foster. He happens to be a service location of the Roseville Property Management. And so one of the features we have here is tagging. So one, fee one thing that's not built in is the ability to differentiate between residential and commercial. So that's one key benefit of tagging. You can quickly tag your customers as such by just planning ahead on what kind of tags you would like to use on your customers when they call in. So you want to tag them as commercial, um, you want to tag them as they are they going to be a preventive maintenance type customer. Um, maybe they're calling in for a particular product or service you have and you want to you want to tag them as such. In this case we have one of our products is Reach Edge. We tag our customers if they're coming to us from a Reach Lead, Reach Edge uh, generated lead. And for your uh, parent record, one of the things that comes up a lot is how to differentiate between my parent records, my parent customers, and my service locations. And so one way of doing that is tagging them as such tag them as a parent record. Um, and then tag them as what kind of services they're on. Preventive maintenance, are they on contract with you? Or are they not on contract with you? Something to think about. So your tags are listed there on top, right? And down here on your customer record, under the overview, we have all the different built-in fields, such as source, tax, those are built in. And here are some of my custom fields that I made for my contact record. I wanted to know, again, here, are they a parent record? Uh, maybe what zone I deliver service to. If I have my service area uh, cut up into zones. Maybe in particular uh, equipment I have installed or I maintain on their property. HVAC guys uh, really like this idea of managing their inventory at their customer sites. This is one way of doing it. And also, if I have a sales representative, who is the person that's managing this account? And here's another popular one is last service date. Again, this is manually done, but this is an idea you can do with using our custom fields, which is updating a custom field every time they use you. If they're uh, frequent, yes, you'll be updating this frequent. If they're not that frequent, this will be an infrequent update. But again, what kind of program, what kind of contract are they on? Again, you can uh, manage them and report on this later. And just some other ideas I had is to how to manage the parent record, which is to ask them, you know, how many properties do they manage? right? And then how many of them uh, do we have under contract or do, do we manage for them with our services? So services, overlooked reporting feature, right? And dispatching feature, really. Instead of just naming all of your jobs as estimate, which again is redundant, since we already categorized that and statusized that for you, or just labor or just service call, why not label your jobs with the particular service that you're gonna go out and do? Such as, you know, here I have, I'm a plumbing company, so I'm going to know, I want to know, is it, am I going out to clear a drain initially? Or is the customer called up and said, hey, it's my bathtub backed up? 
and so on. These can change as the plumbers and other service industries know. You get out there and the job is different or bigger than the customer thought, right? So these are ideas uh, for services. Now with sources is another way of reporting on your customer and this is a way to manage your marketing dollars, right? So if you're spending the big bucks on billboards or uh, Google Analytics or putting your ads in magazines, what if you're sending out coupons or postcards to your customers after every service to see if they're satisfied and to encourage them to call you back by sending them out a 10, 10%, 15% coupon, right? And then uh, still yellow pages are around, but back in the day, these were big, big, very, very expensive. So why not keep track of when the people that are still using them and what page are they calling you from? That's for sources. Now, custom fields. Again, it's down in settings towards the bottom. You have custom fields. We break them up into contact or customer fields and work fields. So here, I have, we broke them up again, uh, the different um, custom fields into text fields, into number fields, date fields. Text fields, we give you different types of text fields. One line text, uh, multi-line text, or pick list. Pick lists are pretty neat because you can do just like this. You can create your own drop down. So you don't have to worry about anyone else's spelling or idea of what it should be uh, put in the box. You predetermine that for them. Here's all my zones. Here's a list of all my sales representatives. Um, here is a list of various preventive maintenance. Um, and here's just some various uh, equipment as a plumber I might have to leave on a job site for some uh, reason. And then another text field I thought should be a text field, not a number field, because I wanted to put in the frequency. Um, so I wanted to put in five times per month or you know once a week. So I made it a text field. Uh, number fields. Um, again, I wanted to keep track of how many uh, properties my property manager actually manages and how much of the business are they giving us? Are they giving all their business to us or not? And again, another very popular quest is how do I tell when the last service was a customer used to me? You have to be proactive on that. So here's a way of doing that. Um, my work fields. Um, kind of limited here um, on my imagination here, but I was just listing you know, various models of uh, kitchen faucets, bathroom, you know, if I was to go out and repair them, replace them, I could uh, put that on a job so I know maybe which type of uh, or maker model I'm installing the most of. All right. Now, once you're collecting all that data, this is the whole point of this uh, demonstration, which is I want to report on these, on this data. So first, before we get into custom reports, I want to point out that we do a lot of these already. So if you are marking your jobs complete, the whole job complete, and you're putting in at least one charge line, that charge can be zero dollars, but at least you're putting a, an item or a charge in your job, um, these sales and marketing reports work really nicely. So for like marketing sources, this is going to assume you are managing your uh, customers and jobs and you're filling in the source, the customer source. So we will give you how many jobs you did by this source, um, the sales volume, percentage of sales. So should we be investing more in or renewing um, the yellow page uh, 505, yes or no, and so forth. Um, we also do, I talked about services. Here's services, revenue. Again, if your services are labeled really clearly, then these, this report can be really powerful. So how many drain calls are you doing? And 
how much for the particular date range by the way this is just August 4th through September 4th how many toilet augers am I doing as a plumber kitchen re faucet repairs um, bathtub backups outside garden clogs and so forth um, and then tags one more example of a built-in report if you're utilizing uh, services and tags here I've tagged one uh, maybe I can make this a little bigger so you can see so here I expanded the, the date range a little bit so you can see some more data but here I've tagged my customers as you know callback customers uh, faucet extended warranty customers customers with preventive maintenance so that's how you would use that one so if you're filling out your tags your services um, your customer sources these reports are right here and always available now if you want to customize your own report we have some custom templates so you can think of them as right this is the uh, new customer template report contact job task time for time's sake I'm going to point out how to use customer and job report so um, I created a parent customer report using the custom customer report I'm going to edit it so what I did was I named it I checked off the boxes for the fields that I want or the columns I want to see in my report customer number is always a good field to have it's always unique right then once I know the columns I want in my report then I can organize them so you can just drag these green X's up and down to organize your report and then here's where the rubber really meets the road right this is where I get the most uh, calls about questions about here's all the fields that are available to you you have to think what customer record do I want to see I want to filter out all the records that I want to see in my report so in this case I want all my customer records that I have marked um, as parent it's not blank um, so this is pretty straightforward and then down here how should I group my reports you're specifying a field to group your report by and these are all the fields that we checked off here is what those are in this case I don't think it uh, is going to help us to group them by anything particular so come down one more we added this one remove duplicates and to simplify this really this has to do with jobs and job events so if you're doing a report on jobs and events this will come into play more than any other time really but in this case we don't have to worry about duplicates run the report okay this is the way you organize the columns the columns that you chose and then here's all eight of the customers that you have the custom field uh, filled in that they are a parent they're a parent uh, customer of yours so these in my example these customers here own properties they send you out to service locations now jumping ahead to a example of a um, Here's another, oh, there's another customer, custom customer report I did. I want to show you guys the last service date report I did. So it's a custom customer report. And these are the columns I, f I wanted to see in my report. This is how I organize the columns. And then I want to show all uh, my customer records where I have filled in the, the field. We could do another one where they're empty, right? That would give someone maybe in the office uh, a task, which is to go through and update the field so you can manage these, right? Um, we don't, no grouping makes sense here and duplications aren't gonna be a problem. So how I put my report together was my customer's number 
database number, their name, and the last time they used us. And I added, hey, how frequently my sales rep, my commercial sales rep, he or she should have asked, you know, based on talking to the customer, how often should they be calling us? And so you could see pretty quickly, are they using us frequently? Yes or no? Are they on a preventive maintenance program? Is there a way to maybe get them to call us more frequently? Maybe if they're on a preventive maintenance program in this idea, you know, we just go out and service them. So we're always on their property helping them. And then who should be contacting them and organizing this? And again, how many properties are we managing and how many do they own? Do we have all their business? All right, and so one more example of a custom report. Now, this is a custom job report. I just wanted to see all jobs. Um, again, you're gonna check off the boxes as usual. You want to see job number again is always important and um, see the services, the customer's name. This is just a quick report. Again, you can organize them. They're the same as a custom customer report. But here's where I get a lot of questions is how to manage or how to format the date. So in this case, I want to see all jobs that were completed on um, less than or equal to today. You can put the word today in there. It's an advanced usage. And greater than or equal to um, May 1st. So we're not dealing with, uh, we can, oh, we can organize these by service type. All right, that makes sense. Um, we don't really have to worry about duplicates in this case. So let's run the report. All right, so here we are. All my jobs that I completed um, from May to today, and then organized by service. So you can get more, anyway, you can massage these to fit your business type or business uh, as you please. But again, just to uh, go back, services, very important for uh, reporting. So take some time on labeling your services and your jobs as such. Um, tagging your customers. Um, yes, and then for your property managers and yes, is uh, tagging them as a parent. Do you have, you know, what kind of programs or contracts do you have with them? Uh, maybe tagging them as commercial or such. Um, last service date would be then we're talking about uh, again, the services, making sure your customer sources are updated. Custom fields, another way to report, very powerful. Take some time to think about these. And then lastly, we went to reports and reported on all these. Anyway, that's that. Thank you.